Hello everyone and welcome to the release notes for GrabCAD Print 1.40. These are the updates that we'll be discussing in this release. SolidWorks native file face colors. SolidWorks part files, including multi-body files, will now include color data applied at the face level for polyjet printing. Previously, only colors applied at the body level were included in GrabCAD Print. Color Swatch Tool Test how colors will appear in the printed model on your polyjet printer by creating a swatch of user-selected colors. Access the Color Swatch Tool by going to Apps and then selecting Color Swatch Tool. New Optimization of Heavy Trays GrabCAD Print now enables users to print larger polyjet trays by optimizing the GPU memory consumption of your computer. The feature can be enabled in Preferences, Polyjet, in the Heavy Tray Optimization tab. Legacy Slicer has been deprecated for J7 series. The Advanced Slicer is now the only available slicer for the Stratasys J750 and Stratasys J735. The Legacy Slicer is no longer available for these printers. There was no change to other polyjet printers. Software compatibility. When sending a job from Standalone Insight to GrabCAD Print, the standalone version must be the same version or later than the Insight version available with GrabCAD Print, or the job will not be sent. Performance improvements. We've upgraded GrabCAD Print's core component to the latest version available. This not only fixes some outstanding issues, such as loading files from a OneDrive folder, it also improves overall performance and startup time. New in GrabCAD Labs, 3MF import from SOLIDWORKS. GrabCAD Print can now import 3MF files from many CAD tools. In the case of SOLIDWORKS created 3MF files, this includes face colors, body color, and textures. For polyjet printers, assemblies will have a flat structure and for FDM printers, there will be no assembly structure. And that is all what we have for you today in this release of GradCAD Print 1.40. Thank you for watching.